So hi and hello, this is again Alan the Forex Algo Trader and in today's video I'm going to show you how you can uh, basically open many or uh, several magic numbers in uh, a particular expert advisor or uh, your e-expert advisor in this case. So basically I do not know the reason as to why you may want to open a particular mini expert, mini, uh, you are, I mean I do not know the reason as to why you may want to have different magic numbers for your particular expert advisors, but uh, most of the, the thing that has again rained on me in this uh, case and uh, motivated me to do this uh, particular lesson or uh, video is that most of the programmers out there who are trying to convert uh, MQL4 program files to MQL5, they face this particular kind of uh, stuck or uh, stagnation in this case. In this case where in the MQL4 version in this uh, instance, you open a trade and then assign the trade a particular magic number in this case. Just assign uh, any expert magic number in this uh, case or uh, in this uh, instance. However, uh, in the MQL5, you can just the most of the very common and basic way of just doing that one is the is a, a way of just assigning a particular just one expert advisor, I mean one magic number to all the trades that are uh, performed or all the deals that are performed by that particular EA in uh, this case. So most of the programmers who are trying out to convert MQL4 or MT4 program files to MT5 or MQL5 in this case, they face this kind of a particular problem where they do not know the way to go around but with by uh, opening these uh, uh, program files or these files with multiple expert magic numbers in this uh, instance so this is now the particular video where i'm going to show you the very basic way of opening many or uh, several trades or uh, deals uh, in this case with uh, several magic numbers in this uh, case or with unique magic numbers in this case i do not know again why you need this information but uh, it is good for the illustrated uh, or the already sent use in this uh, instance so let us just hop into the real business in here so again i had already uh, took a substantial time to explain what the magic numbers are in this uh, case so if you do not know what are the magic numbers you can just check on my previous uh, lesson however in this uh, case over here i would like to just go ahead and create another like a uh, file where we can just uh, yeah so just click on new expert advisor from template click on next providing the file name so i can just have many uh, magic numbers many magic numbers in this case so click on next next and then finally finish in this uh, instance so at this point now over uh, here the, the i will show you the most common and basic way of opening the magic number so the first thing that uh, you maybe you basically need to do at this uh, instance over uh, here is a uh, to just go ahead and maybe provide the magic number so i'll have them they are usually usually integer numbers in this case integer values in this case uh, at this instance so i can maybe provide maybe magic one magic magic one in this case now is equals to maybe one two three four five in the in this case then i can have magic 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 two is equals to um like six seven eight nine uh, maybe O in this uh, case. Uh, then you can then have any other magic, magic 3, 4, 5, 6. Again, it doesn't really matter over here. For now, I will just have the two magic numbers so that we can open uh, test positions in this uh, case. Then have something like uh, like uh, like uh, what like uh, what like uh, what maybe maybe magic one for buy and then magic two for sell position in this case so the easiest thing now to do this one for maybe illustration purposes is to just come over here on the on in each section i'll just open this uh, particular positions uh, randomly in this uh, case so on the on in each section i will just basically open uh, test positions maybe i can open one test position in this uh, case uh, however to do this one i will need the mql uh, mql uh, trading trading uh, request structure structure over here which is now provided in the mql5 so at this point now i can now 
uh, define this one as maybe m request request in this uh, case then i will also need the mql trading resort in this uh, case they are concurrent then maybe resort in this uh, instance so at this point now over here i can just go ahead and maybe maybe uh, what can i do maybe i can just zero the memory zero zero the memory of this m request that we add over here in this uh, case so now at this particular instance in this uh, matter we all that we need to do is use this m request structure using the dot operator to send the action in this case for the first time in this uh, instance so to set the action maybe we want to trade action action deal in this case we want to open up position in this uh, matter what this means in this uh, case is that uh, we just want to open an immediate 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 order execution in this uh, case that is what we specifically mean by that m request dot action then again m request dot maybe we want to provide like a uh, like uh, maybe the the what 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 maybe the price the opening price for your particular position in this case now is equals to maybe we want to get the uh, we want to get the ask and the bid price over here so maybe i can have double double now the asking price is equals to symbol for the current symbol in for double i think then provide in the symbol name then providing the asking price uh, as a usual in this case so again i'll just go over here then i need the bid price over here i think the bid price then providing the the bid over here again so at this point now maybe you want to maybe you want to open a buy position so we buy usually at now the asking price in this in this uh, case so again m request dot the other thing that we can set in this case now is uh, maybe stop loss is equals to maybe for the stop loss maybe you need to maybe for the asking price minus maybe 300 300 uh, points in this uh, case a point in this uh, instance then from there maybe we want to you can also have the the take profit in this case again doesn't really matter so the take profit is ask maybe no plus uh, this particular 300 uh, points in this uh, instance then from there m request again dot maybe you want to send like uh, what can we have here maybe even come providing the symbol in this uh, case maybe you can have null or a symbol in this case again doesn't really matter providing your symbol that you wish then again m request dot maybe the trading volume in this uh, case maybe 0 0.01 this uh, instance maybe again m request dot uh, maybe what else can you do maybe you can also set again the magic number over here maybe what magic number maybe it is a buy position maybe you can have magic one in this uh, case then m um, request again dot maybe maybe what the type of the trading uh, order that you want to send in this uh, case we want to send a buy order so it is order 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 type type buy that comes order type buy maybe again m um, request dot dot uh, maybe m request dot uh, dot uh, what 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 type type filling in this uh, case to so for the type filling in this case we want to uh, the 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 type of order execution maybe order maybe order filling f okay in this uh, case maybe m request again maybe want to provide in the the deviation in this case again does it really matter the deviation is now the deviation for, from the current price the maximum deviation from the current price in this case it can be something like a five in this uh, instance maybe because we are running this on the on in each section let me just have like a 100 uh, points for the deviation then at this point now we just want to send that particular order so order 
order send in this uh, case so send by the m request then again by m result in this uh, instance so if i compile this one let me make sure that everything is working fine we do have like uh, we need to return something like we need to check the order said in this case so in this instance now you can just have something basic like the boolean maybe success is equals to success is equals to maybe something like uh, that one yeah basically yeah <laughs> so right now we just get rid of the error or uh, even the other way that you can do this one is that you can check that uh, if if uh, if we do not set the order or the order execution is not successful basically that is what we are doing in this uh, case if like uh, the order is not uh, successful maybe you want to print to the journal like uh, something in this uh, format maybe you want to print and tell the user why the the execution was not uh, maybe the unable unable to like uh, unable to send to send uh, maybe order order request order request maybe you can have error maybe you can have something like uh, error in this uh, case then pr print to the journal like get uh, last error in this uh, case uh, the error for the why the error was not uh, the order was not executed in this case so if i were to one comment uh, co to comment out this one this one will also work in this uh, particular uh, instance over here so at this point now we open a by position uh, so let us now let me just now uh, like go ahead and have this one on the strategy tester to see if we really open a buy position in this uh, case so we can just go over here then i can have something like uh, select the it on the magic mini magic number our expert advisor then run it again on this uh, case so actually you can see we we open one buy position in this uh, very instance over here so let us now try to like like uh, like uh, like uh, do uh, let, let us just open two positions in this uh, case let me open another cell position so using the same argumentation in this uh, case you can open another cell position in this uh, case in this uh, case another cell position so for the cell position this here would be the ask bid yeah the bid then again for the bid in this uh, case these are basically test positions that we need to open then again can have something like minus over there then over here we can have now the magic number two for the cell position in this uh, case so at this point now let us see if i compile if we open buy and sell positions respectively in this uh, matter so you can see we actually uh, open two positions in this case the buy position and the cell position respectively in this uh, matter so let us now go ahead and check that we have this uh, particular different magic numbers applied to our expert advisor in this uh, case so the easiest thing to do this one is again to go over here then i can have a create avoid type function that will uh, like uh, print this magic number so that will just print magic numbers in this uh, particular instance over uh, here so i can just go ahead and start off something like uh, i can just look through the positions in this uh, case for integer i for integer i in this case is normally positions 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 total then we want to look through if i is greater than or equals to zero in this instance we just want to decrement all the positions starting from the highest position to the lowest position in this case that is what we mean over here then you can have something like you long ticket and see that we select that position so get the ticket so position get ticket providing the index i over here so we want to check that if we can position 
select by ticket in this case then providing the ticket number for that particular position then we can again check that uh, what what can we check over here maybe you can have the the magic number in this uh, case so magic is equals to the positions magic actually let me just have the position magic in this uh, case so now the position magic is equals to position position get a uh, magic number is an integer thing so now pro providing the position magic respectively in this uh, case so right now we want to again go ahead and check that uh, get the the type this positions type in this case and print the position magic number so if position get integer again get integer again i think then providing the what did i do providing the position uh, type in this case if the type is equals to position uh, type uh, by in this uh, case if it is a by position we want to print the magic number so uh, these positions maybe you can just print it to the journal so print post position like number then provide in the the like the ticket number in this uh, case uh, like uh, what else do we need uh, as as something as like magic as magic uh, number as magic number then providing the position magic uh, yeah something basic like uh, that one in this case then then maybe you can this position so position then providing uh, that it is a buy position in this uh, case so else let me just like just go ahead and copy the argumentation of here again and providing for the cell position in this uh, case else if the selected position it is a cell position i mean else if uh, else if the selected position it is position type by cell so providing it is a cell position in this case so right now over here we just need to print the magic numbers whenever we open that particular uh, so magic so just need to print 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 so print the magic numbers respectively at that point after opening the buy position and again after opening the sell position again print print the magic numbers in this case so compile this one it does compile fine let us now check that we have or assign uh, these particular magic numbers or different magic numbers in this uh, case wow that was super quick however i think i can access them over here L let me just run it again that was super quick so you can see that whenever you open the cell at buy position in this case actually it just starts like uh, you can see from the upper position so we open a buy position and then again we open a cell position over here so the 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 cell position got this type of magic number and then the buy position has this type of magic uh, number in this uh, case so yeah <laughs> in this case now you can see we have the buy and the sell position so you can see for the buy position we apply magic number one then for the sell position we apply magic number two in these uh, cases uh, you can see over here and here again so which means that our expert advisor is uh, actually working as we anticipated to be working so that is now how you can uh, assign uh, you can have different magic numbers to your uh, trading to your expert advisor in this case so i hope this video was a uh, was a uh, insightful or uh, useful to you if so just consider to press on the like subscribe and share buttons in this case respectively it, it just makes me feel happy in this uh, instance it mot motivates me to keep on uh, producing this kind of videos in this uh, case so that is all bye bye and uh, half night trades uh, till the next video arrives so bye bye